Hello everyone, welcome to the tutorial of Kato Plugins. Today I am going to show you how to create image swatches from scratch. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. Before heading to the main video, you need to install variation swatches for WooCommerce plugin. To install the plugin, navigate to add new from plugins. Now search for variation swatches for WooCommerce plugin by Imran Ahmed. Now install the plugin. The plugin has more than 200,000 active installations and plenty of 5 stars ratings. After completing the installation, activate the plugin. Now your plugin is activated. So now let's get into the main video. Product attributes can be created from both global attribute and custom product attribute. For manual or custom product attribute, you have to create the same attribute and its variations for each product again and again. That means one attribute can only be allocated in a single product. But when you create global attribute, you can assign the global attribute to as many different products as you want. So today I will show you the process of creating image swatches from the global attribute. To create global attribute, navigate to attributes from products. Fill the name field with your desired title. For demonstration purposes, I have given the attribute name brand. After specifying your desired attribute name, you can leave slug, enable archives, and default sort order as it is, because all these are optional. Select image type from the drop down and save the attribute. You can see brand attribute is successfully created. Now click on configure terms to create the variations of brand attribute. I will create a total of two variations. They are Nike and Adidas. Fill the name field with Nike and select your desired image and add the variation. Again fill the name field with Adidas and select your desired image and add the variation. So all of my variations are now created. So let's create a new product. To create a new product, navigate to add new from products. Give a name of the product and also give a short description of the product. Select variable product from product data drop down. Now click on attributes and select the newly created global attribute. Click on add button. Now click on select all button and all the variations of brand attribute will be selected. Now give a check mark on used for variations. Press on save attributes button. Now click on variations. Add variation will add each variation one by one. But create variation from all attributes will add the variation by making a combination of all the available attributes. For now, I'll go for create variation from all attributes. Now expand the variations. Price is the mandatory field for each variation. So make sure price is set for all the variations. Otherwise variations will not show up in the product frontend. Now add featured images for each variation. First, I'll add image for Nike variation and then Adidas variation. Now save the changes. Now set a product image by clicking here. This image will appear when no variation is selected. Now click on publish button and go to the product frontend to see the final result. So brand attribute variations are successfully showing their image swatches. If you also want to show the image swatches on your shop page, then you need the premium version of variation swatches for WooCommerce plugin. From the above link, you can purchase the premium version of variation swatches for WooCommerce plugin. The link will be given in the description box. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the notifications of the latest videos. If you have any query, please write it down in the comment section. Thank you.